everybody, it's Brock, and we got a brand new episode of All About. Happy Friday to everybody out there. Thank you for coming and joining me today. I'm very happy to finally bring this fish to the field for us to learn about. This is so popular of a fish, and I've finally been able to get some videos of him, and he really did not like the camera. He was swimming crazy around the tank trying to get away from it, but we did get some decent shots of him. Today, we are learning all about the clown tangs, or as other people like to call them, the clown surgeon fish. Prices on them, you'll normally see about a $60 price tag to get one of these. Tank size, so what I recommend is having about 180 gallon. A good six foot long tank will give them plenty of room to swim as they are so very active. Now, a lot of times they do come as juveniles and they'll only be about a couple inches long, which is really small. And you could have them in a smaller tank, but I promise you he's going to get a larger and bigger size in a couple of years and you will want to upgrade that tank that way he lives a really healthy life so at the beginning you could have him in a smaller tank but i'm telling you you'll definitely want about 180 gallon or bigger to take care of them once they get big hair level i would say moderate too difficult just because he does have some very particular things you need to make sure your tank can handle to take care of him that way he's doing good Temper, he is semi-aggressive, too aggressive. They can be very aggressive tangs. They will become the kings and queens of the tank. I've seen it go both ways. I've seen them do really well with other tangs and other fish do fine. And then you'll have some tanks where they are just too mean to ever add another tang in there. It's the only one you can have. But with other fish, he really doesn't mess with them. So it kind of goes both ways. Definitely check with your LFS if you can to see how they've been doing with other tangs or if they've kept them alone. Reef compatibility, yes, it is a really, really great reef fish to have. It puts them in their normal environment in the ocean. They love swimming around the reefs. And they also are really, really good about eating hair algae and eating algae off the sand, off your rocks, all over the place. He will always be grazing on that rock for you. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.020 to 1.025. Everything's the same there. Max size, so they can get up to about 12 inches easily. So in the wild, easily 12 inches, and some even bigger. In the tank, you'll definitely see them get to at least 8 inches and probably 12 inches by the end of their life. So definitely expect to have a really big tang in your tank. So you'll really want a bigger tank for them. Colors on them, which is what everybody really loves about them. They have a white body, but the stripes are what are so pretty on them. They're yellow, black, and blue running all down them. And towards the head is where it gets really blue. So it's a very, very pretty fish to have in the tank. Diet, so they are an omnivore. Basically what you have to feed them is plenty, plenty, plenty of algae. They will need it every day. Definitely want to feed some algae every day to them because that's going to keep their health up, keep ick and any other kind of diseases away from them. And it's also going to keep their colors very healthy looking and it's just going to give them an overall much better health in the tank. So definitely be feeding some algae to them. I always go for the sea veggies, dry seaweed for them to put on a clip in the tank and you can cut little shreds of it. That way they can go in there and pick off pieces of the algae whenever they get hungry throughout the day. But definitely be feeding them algae every day. And the reason they are an omnivore is because whenever you feed your other fish, like your mysis and brine shrimp, they're gonna go up there and eat that too. And they'll eat flakes, pellets, everything. But you really need to make sure to be feeding them algae as well. Origin, so they do come from Fiji and Indonesia all around in that area. Compatibility, just ask. So with tangs, whenever you're trying to house multiple tanks in a tank, it's always good to try to get different body shapes because if they have too much of a similar body shape, they will be very aggressive towards each other even when adding them at the same time. So a very different body shape from this one would be something like a yellow tang. But then just like in the video, you can see an oval bodied orange shoulder tang in here with the oval body clown tang. So it just kind of depends on how it works out for the tang itself. Sometimes they go in well with other tangs just fine, and then other times you really see a lot of aggression towards them because they're fighting over territory. 
and you pretty much just need one tang in the tank by itself. So you just gotta kind of see if your store you're buying it from, if they've had it with other tangs or if they've had it by themselves. Always be careful with tangs as they do have that sharp spine on both sides toward the back of their fin that they will use to defend their territory. And if you ever see them being aggressive towards another fish, a lot of times tangs, whenever they you can just tell they're being aggressive towards each other, is they'll be swinging that back tail fin at each other trying to hit the other fish with that spine. So definitely watch out for that. You'll know if they're being aggressive towards each other whenever they're doing that. A big thing to hit on with these guys to keep them comfortable and happy in the tank is make sure you have a really good live rock structure in your tank. And that's for hiding and swimming out all throughout the day between caves and also giving them places to hide. They definitely like to wedge up in between rocks at night that way they can stay hidden from everyone and they also need plenty of rocks to graze on because all throughout the day they're going to be running around picking on the rocks make sure you have plenty of rocks in there really good structure for them to swim around in and then you also want lots of flow as they are such an active fish swimming around the tank they need plenty of oxygen in the water Make sure you have a good amount of power heads in there blowing around plenty of current for them to swim in and keeps the water very oxygenated for them. And I would recommend this. I would get some glass lids on top of the tank just in case. I've heard some horror stories about these fish being too active swimming around and they jump out. So I would definitely recommend at least for the first couple of months that you're having them in the tank getting used to everything. Put some glass lids on top of there or something covering the top. That way you don't risk him jumping out. Other than that, that pretty much hits on everything you need to know about the clown tangs. They are a very beautiful tang to have in the tank. You just really need to make sure to hit on some main points to take care of them. That way he stays very healthy and happy in the tank. And the main ones I'd walk away with is make sure the tank's big enough. You definitely want a big tank to take care of these guys because they will get huge. I mean, they get up to 8 to 12 inches in the tank setting. You definitely want to be feeding them plenty of algae every day. That way they're staying healthy and ick and other diseases are staying off of them and then lastly just make sure there's lots of flow in there and lots of good live rock for them to swim around in and graze on other than that you will have to do really well with this tang if you are curious if this tang would be good in your tank you can list it down below list the other fish you have in your tank i'll be glad to help you out with other fish they're not really aggressive towards it's really trying to figure out if he can be with other tangs I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you do have any other questions, please leave them down below or you can follow me on social media and we can chat there. I love talking with y'all and please make sure to like and subscribe for almost at 10,000 subscribers. It's amazing. I will see y'all later. Hope you'll have a wonderful weekend and stay safe out there. Bye.